In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to compress your photos and videos in Google Photos to reduce the size of each file and free up space on your Google account without actually deleting anything. When you compress photos and videos, it does slightly reduce the quality. So if you're a photographer or you really, really care about photo quality, you might not want to do this. But Google compression is really quite good. So if you're just looking at your personal photos on your phone or something like that, you're really not going to notice any difference between the compressed ones and the uncompressed ones. Unless you zoom in and start to seriously analyze it, you probably won't even be able to tell it's been compressed. First, Timmy's going to show you how to compress all of your existing photos in Google Photos so that all the photos you've already uploaded will take up less space on your account. And then Timmy will show you how to change a setting on your phone in the Google Photos app so that from now on, whenever you take a new photo on your phone and it gets backed up to Google Photos, it will automatically be compressed to the smaller file size for you so that you don't have to go and compress them all like this again. But to compress your existing photos, you can't actually do this in the app. You need to be on the Google Photos website. And you can go to the Google Photos website on your phone if you want to, but Timmy's going to do it on a computer. But whatever device you're using, you just need to go to photos.google.com and make sure you sign in to the same Google account that you are using on your phone to back up all your photos. So if you can see all of your photos here, that obviously means you're in the correct account. And now you'll need to go into the Google Photos settings. So if you're on the website on a computer, you'll click on the settings icon in the top right hand corner here, or if you're on the website on a phone, you'll tap on the menu in the top left hand corner and then scroll down and tap settings. And then you'll be in the same settings menu. But now up the top here, you'll see you have the choice between original quality, which is uncompressed photos and storage saver, which is compressed photos. But that's actually just choosing what you want it to do with new photos. So if you upload photos to the website, when you upload those photos, they will either be in storage saver or original quality, depending on which one you chose. But this doesn't change the quality of photos that will be uploaded through the app when they back up from your phone. And that's probably how most of your photos will end up on Google Photos. And it also doesn't change the quality of photos that are already on Google Photos. So to go ahead and compress the photos that are already on Google Photos, you'll need to click Manage Storage down below these options. And now you'll have a whole lot of stuff about your storage, but you can ignore most of it and scroll down pretty much to the bottom of the page where it says Recover Storage here. And now it says Convert Existing Photos and Videos to Storage Saver. And that's exactly what we want to do. So we'll go ahead and click learn more here. And now it explains a bit about what it does. You can read it if you want to, but it's pretty standard. And now you need to tick this box that says you understand compressing your photos and videos cannot be undone. And this is very true because once you've compressed all your photos and videos, the original uncompressed versions will be permanently deleted and you'll only have the compressed versions. So you can't undo this ever, but as long as you're sure you want to go ahead and do it, you can tick this box and then click compress existing photos and videos. And now that's disappeared. And it says here compressing, this may take several hours and it might, if you have a lot of photos, it could take quite a few hours and Google's storage system where it tells you how much storage you're using is often quite slow to catch up with big changes. So even after it finishes compressing all your photos, 
it might be a few more hours before you actually see any change in how much Google storage you have available. But once it finishes doing this, you'll have a whole lot more Google storage available. And you don't need to wait around for this to finish. You can go back to photos or you can close the tab and go and do something else completely different. But eventually that'll finish. And then if you come back tomorrow or something, you should see you'll have a lot more storage space available in your account. So now that you've done that, if you haven't already, you might want to go into your phone in the Google Photos app on your phone and change the setting so that whenever you take new photos and it backs them up to Google Photos, it will automatically back them up in the compressed quality so that you can take more photos without using your account space. So to do that, you'll just need to open up the Google Photos app on your phone and then tap on your profile picture in the top right hand corner here. So tap there and then tap photo settings down at the bottom of this menu that pops up. And now tap on backup up here. And now down here under settings, there'll be backup quality. So if you tap backup quality, we can see it's currently set to original quality. So any photos that your phone backs up will just not be compressed and they'll stay in their original quality. But we can set it to storage saver so that they'll automatically be compressed just like all the photos that we've just manually compressed. So you just need to tap on that and then tap select. And now it's selected. So now all the photos that you take on this phone in the future and then get backed up to Google Photos will be automatically compressed as they back up. So you'll be able to back up lots more photos before your account runs out of storage. And that's all there is to this video. So hopefully you found it helpful and to me I'll see you in the next one.